the plugged in betas are basically about 80% of men out there. It's, it's blissful ig ignorance, if that makes sense. Um, they just kind of sleepwalk through life. Uh, these are the blue pill guys. Um, they're not getting the, their, their best results out of life. They're not really living a optimized, fulfilled life. But this is the vast majority of the male population right now. When they, when they deal with women, they're for the most part plugged in betas. Okay. Um, they bend the knee to women and society's narratives. Uh, so the happy wife, happy life narrative, uh, you know, put her on a pedestal. Um, now when I say put, put her on a pedestal, it's not just in life, but you'll also see this in, 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 in social media was one of the points that I made over here, which I'm going to expand on in later content. But what that looks like is you'll see it on places like, um, Facebook probably for the most part or Instagram or uh, Twitter. Um, but on the main socials where the relationship, you know, description is broken down and they're, and they're talking about how, oh, she's my, you know, she's my one. I would be nothing without her if it wasn't for her, blah, blah, blah. My life was nothing until she entered it. You know, the standard sort of stuff. And they're constantly at anniversaries, Valentine's Day, birthdays, kids, kids graduation, even just random events, putting her up on a pedestal. And the one thing that you'll notice, and this is part of the unplugging process, the one thing that you'll notice is she generally doesn't reciprocate. So try this. If you don't trust me, go and try this yourself. You know, you'll see one of your plugged in friends and they're going to go on about, you know, they'll have some picture of her, you know, with him leaning in, looking like all plugged in beta plebbed out. And she's staring at the camera with a big, you know, smile on her face and he's staring at her, kissing her on the cheek. Um, you know, you've all seen pictures like that. And it's got some caption in it about how she's the best thing ever and he'd be nothing without her. And then you click her profile and there's nothing. It's crickets. It's sometimes it's even worse than crickets. It's like pictures of her on Instagram posing in bikinis, you know, soliciting the attention of other guys. And there's nothing covering him or, you know, basically reciprocating his feelings for her, but back the other way on her social feed. So that's what that looks like. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more you know, another cast, you know, to be more specific on it. These, these plugged in betas, they're, they're the guys, you know, it's the 80% of the population that are chasing women, not excellence. Um, they'll, they'll do whatever it'll, it'll take just to get the girl, but they won't put themselves first. They won't, um, figure out how to make serious bank. They won't figure out how to level themselves up in all areas that they might be deficient in. Okay. So these are the guys that are chasing women, but not excellence. They're mostly nice guys. And one of the things that you'll notice that they'll do, um, go and sign up for some of these like, you know, Facebook groups, like these private groups, like, you know, the legends of man and the, you know, the impossibly great man of magnificence, you know, the groups that I'm talking about, they all have these like fancy titles and, you know, you'll see some guy in there and he's like, Hey fellows, uh, want to get some feedback on this, been married for 15 years, two kids, blah, 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 blah. Uh, wife isn't intimate with me anymore. You know, what do I do? And then, you know, <clears throat> the comments start to chime in and it's all, well, just be yourself. Or if you do the dishes more and put away the laundry, then, you know, you'll probably get some place, you know, sort of thing. And they don't generally get good advice, nor do they give good advice to others. Um, they are plugged into society's lies. These are the blue pill condition guys, right? Um, another thing that you'll notice that they'll do a lot of is they'll try to negotiate desire and use chore play, which I just kind of described earlier, which is like, you know, putting away the dishes in the laundry and taking care of the kids so she can go out for a girl's night out. And that's, that's not going to generate genuine burning desire. Um, I think the second or third chapter of my book, if you have not got it, the unplugged elf is on Amazon, get it. Don't be a pleb. Don't be plugged in. Go look for answers. Um, are insignificant. They are not significant. They are insignificant to their inner circle, to their world around them, to the people they work with, uh, to where they go about things. They're, and, and not everybody can be significant, okay? Not, not, it, it's not like we're ever going to shift this bottom 80% of blissfully ignorant plugged-in beta males to become unplugged alphas. It's just not going to happen. Most of society will remain. All I'm doing is I'm giving you these four different quadrants so you understand the differences. And then you can, you know, if you if you intend to level up or if you intend to go through the unplugging process to become, you know, the best version of yourself, then you can take those steps. Again, these are these these bullet points here essentially are describing to you what it is that, you know, you're sitting at right now. Okay? Uh <clears throat> Blah, 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 uh, physically out of shape. 
the I don't know what the number is now today, but last I heard is something between two thirds and three quarters of the North American population is either categorically obese, fat, morbidly obese, somewhere in that area. Basically, their body mass index or their body fat percentage is at a place where they're unhealthy. Uh, they generally have the comorbidities, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, all that good stuff tying in with the obesity, you know, sore joints, bad knees, they, you know, they're out of breath just walking upstairs. And this could be a 25 year old guy. Like I've, you know, I've seen this in all age groups, but they're generally speaking also physically out of shape. Plugged in betas get themselves to that point because they don't prioritize self care. Okay. It's only guys that have unplugged that recognize the importance of putting themselves first, putting their physique and their, and their health, you know, i.e. self care as a priority. Um, moving on, they're fragile and allow problem women in their lives. Now, when I talk about fragility, I'm making reference to, um, the book anti-fragile. You have three categories. You have, uh, fragile, robust, and anti-fragile essentially. Um, when chaos or stress comes the way of plugged in betas, they basically, their stress levels go out of control. Cortisol spikes you know, would, would generally spike in their blood panel if you're pulling blood labs around that time. But the fragility of things coming their way really, really affect them in a negative way. I'm going to deal with the anti-fragility part when I get to the unplug alpha part. But problem women are another issue for them. And they routinely invite them into their lives. Um, if you want to learn more about, where's my link here on the banner? Uh, here it is. If you want to learn more about red flags and the kind of problem women that most plugged in betas invite into their lives, you should get on my email list. It's down below, which is entrepreneursandcars.com forward slash red dash flags. I very rarely send out emails, maybe like once every month or two. And if I do, it's of something of some importance that you definitely want to check out, or I can't publish it on my YouTube channel. I did a, uh, um, I added up probably about the eighth or ninth email to that list, uh, yesterday. <clears throat> and it's a really, really important video that I think that you guys should check out. It's basically a documentary on what's going on in the world today with um, the situation with the beer bug, world world finance and everything kind of tied into that. Excuse me a second, I gotta take a sip. So make sure you check that out. You don't even have to buy my book if you wanna read the chapter on red flags. It's there for free. Just get on the list and then you can download it. It's a PDF. I break down the 20 red flags. Plugged in betas will allow these problem women into their life. That's just what they do. Uh, they complicate life and justify why they do it, often as nice guys. I shouldn't have to explain that. I've talked about that many times. They believe the mainstream media and vote for big government and control. The reason why, I mean, using Canada as a recent example, because we just completed a election cycle back in September. The reason why Justin Trudeau continues, I think he's, it's been three terms now, the reason why he continues to stay in office is because a large popu a large chunk of the population continues to believe their narratives and falls for the mainstream media lies and keep voting for big government because they trust them. That's what plugged in betas do. That's why you're never going to see uh, a libertarian government. It's just never going to happen because the vast majority of the population, men included, subscribe to the big lies and the mainstream media, and they like the control. They don't want freedom. They want free shit. They want big daddy government to take care of them. They want a ruler. Okay, that's what these plugged in betas do. Uh, they can also be very, very successful leaders and entrepreneurs. You know, I've talked about this before um, on my channel and some prior collabs. But these, but but this large ch chunk of the population, the eighty percent of guys out there, uh, are basically useful puppets, and they're and they can fall into very, very successful roles. I mean. Um, there's a large number of very successful entrepreneurs. There are seven, eight, nine, ten figure guys that are still plugged in betas, but they figured out how to make serious money. There's a lot of them out there. 